Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. I have a little journal I just finished that I wanted to share with you. And it is a scrappy, uh, junky journal. And I love it. It's like one of my favorites. I say that a lot, but I love this one. So here it is. This is the cover. It's got some Tim Holtz ladies and layers of... Um, Laces, vintage doilies, laces and trims. This is um, a liner from like a jacket or something that I did the closure with. This is just a shabby chic little raggedy rose I got from um, Hobby Lobby, I think. This is the spine with the little roses. And this is the reverse side. This is a real vintage... Uh, image that I got in, have in my stash um, and decided to use it there with another shabby rose and trims and that's a vintage button so let's look at it and this will be for sale uh, if anyone's interested and wants to let me know feel free to message me otherwise I'll be listing this in my Etsy store so I have, this is not a vintage button, just a button. I got that from the Hopeful Bird, a little ticket. And it's got the roses. This is off of a, a blouse, or not, it wasn't a blouse, a top of some kind that I had. This is a vintage piece of doily, some cheesecloth, and some vintage pieces layered in there. The inside... I layered, um, this is not vintage, but I inked it. This is a piece of vintage doily, some vintage buttons and trims. This I got from someone in Happy Mail. Um, this is from TLC Creates Vintage. This journal belongs to, and I glued that little birdie on top. So you have that. This is a vellum card I got in Happy Mail from someone. I don't remember who it was. The base of this is corrugated uh, paper. Like, not as thick as cardboard, but it's corrugated. I got a big, giant sheet of it some time back and hadn't used it. This is a cute little um, tag from um, Edwardian Lady. I can't remember her name. <laughs> And this is some paper I got in some packaging a long time ago and have hoarded it, but I inked around it, and that's most of the pages. This is just a piece of uh, crochet trim I get at Dollar Tree. These stickers I got from someone recently, and I don't remember which person. This is a little flip. This is some of my wine dyed paper, roses, and some more of that a sticker. And you can flip it open to journal there and here. This has a little shake button, pearl button, dangling down. This is a real vintage piece in my stash. I stitched a lot of stitching I was sewing when I could. This is just a little journaling card, Cotillion Party. And this is a vintage playing card that I love, but I decided to let it go with this, the number nine. I bet that number nine speaking to somebody right now. Some of my personal coffee dyed grungy paper. I did an upside down sort of flip, gift of love. And this, I don't remember where this came from. But a digital kit, I think. And I just glued it together for a little keep something something you can journal here um, more of that I used a lot of washi tape I like this washi tape in here piece of vintage um, doily there I stitched on and inked Throw it there wine dyed paper this is a vintage ice coupon I got from Amore Fabrics this is one of my fabric and button clusters with a vintage button this is from the Hopeful Bird. We get to be each other's champion. 
And it's just a crinkly piece of paper that she does with the coffee and cinnamon. This is a little shank vintage button too on this one. A little mother of pearl button. Piece of uh, coffee dyed paper, heavier paper. This I got um, in with some stuff from someone recently. It's not been that long ago and I can't remember. Uh, this is from Hopeful Bird. Hope. Grit. And then the and is on the front. Um, my wine dyed paper. There's uh, two vintage buttons. Glue one glued inside the other and a piece of vintage doily. This is a paper ruffle from my buddy Michelle Gregory that she sent in our secret Santa sister swap and it turned out really cute and um, this is my coffee dyed paper I did this little Tim Holtz girl a ticket and layered it with um, there's just a little bit of eyelash trim and you open it up a piece of cheesecloth and a little flower it's a good journaling spot a little surprise there and this I'll be doing a tutorial on it's uh, not that difficult but I uh, use these diamond nickel fabric things all the time fabric coin things you know what I mean these um, and I'll like sew them on the edge of a page use them for a tab or things like that well this time I decided to make a tall skinny tag and I just used coffee dyed paper and did wonky stitching so you can journal on both sides I folded the top we put a vintage button there at the top and it just slides in here I just glued it down well there we go so it looks like it's just part of the decoration doesn't it a hidden little secret spot this has a vintage uh, piece of jewelry, it's a leaf off of a necklace I had hanging down, some vintage lace, a bingo card that acts, serves as a pocket, and that's um, from my stash. This I got at the Fix Thrift Store from the heart, I think. Had several little cute things like that, and I just got some vintage lace on that. journaling spot with one of those cute stickers uh, blank can you believe it I did leave blank pages to journal with this is a piece of uh, vintage doily Isn't that cute back side of my coffee dyed papers a little short piece uh, coffee dyed no wine dyed paper I have in my Etsy shop and I just printed it out so there's that and then I made just a in my stash and made a pocket out of that this is from the hopeful bird I will bravely shine my unique light is not she cute inked on the back and this looks unique to me so it went with it this is a vintage playing card I have hoarded but I just love it and the colors are so bright it's the number five and I just thought it went nicely there this I got in Happy Mail some time back from Sherry Schmier. And I just did a little collage, camp the quilt piece, and uh, etc. sewed on there. And this says altered, one of the Tim Holtz. Um, can you see the word altered? There it is. And then I put a little flat back pearl button kind of thing on it. This is another one of those tags that I did I used a hopeful bird message Jesus light lives in you and I stitched around it and made it smaller so it would fit right in there and that adorable and it does better with a little bit thicker paper I learned because I did this one first and then I did the one with a button so I like the button best so that's a vintage button and just coffee dyed paper here's another thing from the hopeful bird i am a holder of hope i love her little images and this flips over and you get a four leaf clover 
that I stitched around cellophane and glued it down. Here's another one of those cute stickers. Journaling spot. Made that tag into a pocket. You have a cute tag. It's just kind of an eclectic, shabby, junky journal. Oh no, I dropped it. Where did it go? You know, if it drops in my room, it'll get lost. Hopeful bird. Fear does not make you unqualified. Love that saying. We're all afraid, so to speak, in some areas, starting something new, um, doing something new, but that doesn't mean you're not qualified because that's part of life. And you just use that adrenaline, hang on to God, and keep going. And I've got a vintage heart that came off of an older piece of jewelry that's kind of got etching engraved there and a pretty piece of this blue uh, lace. Isn't that pretty? This is a vintage piece. New Year wish. Mid friendships glow. Mid plenty's cheer. So come, so go. A happy year. And then I had this tag I got at Joann's, I think. And look how good it matches that. And I just inked it up good. Put a piece of pink and white um, trim on it. And thought that just went so cute together. Another piece of vintage doily wine dyed paper I printed out and I had this little domino in my stash and just stapled that on there. This is just a little tag with um, cheesecloth and a vintage button. This side, this is uh, Tim Holtz flowers and I just made it into a little tuck spot with this little tiny tag. Just tucks in there, cute. And then from the Hopeful Bird, Grit and Hope and it's got vintage doily, vintage button, and a little piece, old piece of jewelry, full flower on a, the bulb pin here, vintage laces and trims. And this is a pocket, and you have Bravely Be Yourself from the Hopeful Bird. And I just used a little gla uh, glassine craft bag. That's out of some Tim Holtz paper, journaling spot. And I'm losing that one, last but not least another vintage playing card with a basket of flowers and it's the number six that just reminds me of that song because I've got the five the six and the nine it's a very old song five no five six nine the goose drank wine the monkey chewed you back on the streetcar line line broke the monkey got choked and they all went to heaven in a little rowboat clap clap I don't know where that came from laugh for the night right so and there's the back again but anyway I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I love this little raggedy, taggedy, shabbity journal. So you can private message me if you're interested um, before I list it in Etsy. It might take me a little bit because I've got some other things to do. But um, know you're loved. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you're watching this and you've not, let, not yet entered my drawing online for my sub, uh, thousand subscriber celebration you have until the 31st of january to do so there is a celebration video that i posted on my channel that you need to go in and watch the video like it comment enter me plus add something you'd like for me to do on my channel that you'd like to see i've got another contest contest going watch the video about uh, forget me not journal and Tara McGuire and you have to watch that video like and subscribe and you could win a beautiful prayer journal from Tara McGuire to um, that this is all to support her um, Alzheimer's Foundation and I talk about that in that video and tell you what you'll need to do to win that and there will be more coming up so stay tuned come back and I'll uh, know that I love you guys and I um, appreciate you so very much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!